is we're going to be doing some experiments involving this thing right here. I've got a kid who's really into STEM programming at home. He's at college now. So as soon as I saw this, uh, it rang a bell for me. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. I just want to let you know that in the lobby here, it is looking different at Echo. They're redoing the whole place. I'm really excited about this because what they've done is they've just changed sort of the atmosphere when you come in the front door. Instead of having the desk right there and then you have to get beyond the desk after you pay, you can come in and hang out a little bit. And the thinking in the future is they're going to set up a little cafe here, come in, have a cup of coffee, maybe grab some light food, and even hang out in the chair. So kind of mid-project so far, but this is going to be really, really exciting. So let's get back to uh, the project at hand. Chris Whitaker is here, who is the STEM guy here. I am. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about what kids see and when they might see what you're going to show us today. Yeah. So this is part of of our challenge science which every Saturday and Sunday we host these challenge science programs and what they are are their engineering design challenges so they pose a problem to the kids and to their families and they have to come up with a creative and innovative solution and then we test them and redesign just like good engineers do yeah so this is called wind racers so this is our challenge that um, essentially started as just creating kind of sailboats we're here on Lake Champlain we have a lot of wind so harnessing that uh, that idea and it kind of evolved into magnetic levitating sailboats, which was the natural progression. Yeah, okay, so, so, so how does this work? Kids come in yeah. and say, I want to try this out, but they need to design something first, don't oh, they? Oh, yes, so they, what, they, what they get is they get a, a little story that introduces them to the program, and then we have these um, you know, maglev cards that just float in the track, yep. and their challenge is, is they have to decide and create a design of a sail. So we talk about sails and how they're created, and then they get a chance to actually test their sails. And so the goal is to always get your sailboat to go all the way to the end of the track. So here's one I put together real quickly. All right, who made that sail? That's what I so want to know. I, I, I just chopped up that sail really quickly. Okay, right okay. so let's here. see how this works. So Give it a rip we have here. Our, whoops, before we flip over. Okay. So we let it go. All right. And down the track it goes, and if you have a really good design, you usually will make it to the end. Sometimes oh, it takes oh, a little oh, while. Oh. There it is. Oh, excellent. All right, now you have a second one here. Okay, I don't know who made this one. Can I give it a shot? Give that one a we'll shot. do this, and we'll do a little there. weather here. Here we go. Off it goes. All right, let's see if this can uh, keep up with your first one. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Look at that. Is that cheating? <laughs> That's excellent stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, I think sometimes it's easy to just overlook some of the things that happen here at Echo. You know, you come in, you know about the exhibits, but there's a lot more going oh, there's on. A, huh? There's a lot of programs that go on, and, and there's a lot more to this challenge than you just saw as well that makes it even more interesting as, as we get into it. Well, I'll tell you um, what. Do you mind hanging around for a while? Maybe we can course. talk more yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you very much.